perfect juicy turkey every time. So for Thanksgiving this year, we are doing a sous vide turkey. We have a, what is this? 10 pound turkey here. We are going to do it spatchcock. So we're going to open it up. I know some people like the traditional turkey, but after we did it one year, spatchcock, I think that was for us the way to go. And this year we're doing a sous vide spatchcock turkey. The reason being, if you do the whole thing, you would have to fill the entire bag with liquid. And yeah. that's a lot of liquid. Well, yeah. And also it's, it's probably not the texture that we want to go for for this turkey, but you know, it's definitely a way you can go. The reason you put liquid in is because there's a big cavity if you leave it whole. So that needs to fill because air is not a very good conductor of heat. So you need liquid in order to have the insides cooked to the correct temperature mm -hmm. as the outside. And also the whole bird will be floating around. <laughs> You'll have yeah. to like just keep it down. First thing we do, we're going to remove the backbone. And this is all you need, just a pair of scissors and the small knife. Yep. A good pair of scissors though, is what you need. So we're gonna cut on either side of the spine. Remember that first year we, uh, we did Thanksgiving? We have fried mac and cheese, karaki wings, spring rolls, Hong Kong style borscht soup, salt baked chicken, St. Louis style ribs, Portuguese baked pork chop on rice, pork chow mein, sweet potato mash, uh, stir fried bok choy, Salad. For dessert, we've made this thing called Her Majesty's Bliss. Basically, it's a vanilla ice cream with a Earl Grey tea latte on top. But instead of vanilla ice cream, we did our own condensed milk ice cream. So uh, that's like a 12 course meal. that we didn't understand portions. So we're like, okay, 10 dishes, we have 10 people, so we should have 10 portions per dish. If you know math, 10 dishes times 10 portions equals 100 portions. So we ended up with a lot of food. So we removed the backbone. We don't throw it out. We're gonna, we use that to make our gravy or stock or whatever you got. We'll probably use it with the innards that came with this to make the gravy. So we quickly remove the wishbone from here. Okay. And once you grab it, we pull that out. And then you want to get under the skin with your fingers or a spoon, the back of the spoon, but you gotta be careful so you don't break the skin. Uh, you cut a little insert. We just open a little bit here. And then you get your you get your fingers going inside this uh, inside the cavity so you get under the skin. Okay, we're gonna do that with the breast, with the legs, and every part. If you're new to kind of cooking, we do sous vide recipes, experiments, and a lot of other stuff too. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when we have a new video. So the next step after all the skin is open, mm -hmm. we're going to salt it. That's good. Just rub that in. This is for the dry brine. We're going to dry brine it to draw the moisture and make sure we do everything we can to make sure this is a moist turkey. And that's it. You don't need to do the skin? At this point, we don't need to do the skin because it's going to see the anyway, mm -hmm. so we don't need to worry about that. The next thing is to just put it on a wire rack. We put it into the fridge to brine overnight. Now when you have a traditional turkey, you always have cranberry sauce. This is like the only time we use raw cranberries. We've, we've never raw tasted raw, so do you want to try one? Ready? Oh. There must be a lot of sugar. In. Wow. 
you know, when you first bite into it, it kind of reminds me of a pomegranate. Mm. And then it just gets more and more sour and more sour. <laughs> we have cranberries. We're gonna go in. The next thing going in is sugar. Orange zest. The zest of one whole This orange. is what an orange looks like after you zest it. I thought it was really interesting. It reminded me of a tennis ball. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of nutmeg just to add a little bit of bite. Nutmeg is pretty potent, so you don't wanna add too much. And a sprinkling of cinnamon. Since it's festive anyways. Bag it up. This one we're gonna seal. The one thing you need to remember about cranberries is that they float. I don't know if you watch those ocean spray commercials and it's like up to their waist in, in cranberries. These float, so you're gonna need to weigh these down even after you suck all the air out. And if you're making this for your turkey, which I assume you are, and you, you might be also making uh, the vegetable sides like mashed potatoes, carrots, parsnips, but not squash, all those things, they all go in at the same temperature at 190 degrees. 190. So you can literally dump all this cranberry sauce, the potatoes, vegetables all in at the same time and you're done. So cranberry sauce out of the sous vide. The next thing we do is the fun part. We just uh, mush it. We're gonna- Crush it in the bag? Oh, it's Ooh. really hot actually. Oh, it's hot. Is it hot? Yes. I have sensitive fingers, okay? But Kevin can eat like boiling hot soup. I have a Chinese Straight mouth, from... but sensitive fingers. But she can't lift the bowl, so it's kind of counterproductive. Oh yeah, whatever. So yeah, okay. get a little mush. I think I like it a little mushier. So we're gonna mush it up like this. Mm. It smells really nice. Yeah. I actually smell all of the um, zest. Mm. It's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. I think I say it's pretty good in every single episode. Like maybe you should like get a thesaurus and like look at good. <laughs> And see what other ones, what other ones come up with. Would you serve this cold or hot? I think you can do both. But since we prepared it beforehand, it will be cold now. Today is tea day. Turkey, the turkey day. has been dry brined in the fridge overnight. Yep. And we're ready for the sous vide. The reason why we're sous vide it, well, what, number one, the texture will be fantastic. No dry meat. And also because we want to save some space in our oven for other delicious goodies. I mean, there's one time where we were making Thanksgiving and luckily we have two ovens. Because we're extra? Yeah. It actually happened twice, right? We didn't have enough space for our parties. We were living in an apartment. Mm -hmm. So we had to go downstairs to our, to, neighbors. A, to our neighbors and use their oven and then bring up this hot plate of potatoes. And then the next time we, we, we have it, another kitchen in the basement, we use that one. Mm -hmm. Now we don't have that anymore. So yeah. we use the sous vide to do that. Normal you might find it difficult to fit a whole turkey in a bag so we found these expandable vacuum bags so hopefully we can fit the entire bird in there fold it down this looks pretty good fit right in so we're gonna throw in a couple of sage leaves and always put on the side that's not your presentation side. And also always remember, if you're using the vacuum bag, one side is rough. So make sure your skin side, the presentation side is on the smooth side. Otherwise you can get all these weird little marks like you just woke up. This is what it looks like after you seal a turkey and suck all the air out. You know, help out your machine and just push all the air out. That way you get a nice seal. So back looks like this, some sage all around. So we're gonna put this in the sous vide. 150 for six hours.
turkey's done, had in the oven, 530 minutes. I'm just gonna cut a piece of the dark meat here. Oh, that looks moist. All right, we'll taste that together. Mm, very moist. Mm. <laughs> this is for our family later, so we'll make it You'll look like it's notice. intact. Let's take a piece of dark meat. That's white meat. Oh, sorry, white meat. Oh yeah, looks good. Looks juicy. Skin is crisp. Mm hmm. Hey, how small do you want to cut it, man? Hey, we still need to feed everybody. I'm gonna try some with the cranberry sauce now. Mmm. Pretty good. Well, Keep the going. cranberry sauce thickened up a lot better than I thought it would. You're eating it like a chili. The turkey is much more delicious than I thought it would be because it was what just salt. What do you salt. mean it's much more delicious than you thought it would be? It's, it's just salt. There's nothing else. Yeah. yeah. That's all it needs. All right. That's the dry brine. Alright. All right. We're gonna eat Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving. Until next time. Okay, nobody's here. Good. Oh, so hot, I'm dying. Ugh.